Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so your energy, King of Wands, nice. You're viewing your person as the Six of Wands in reverse and the connection as the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so for a lot of you, you may definitely be experiencing some drama here with this person. You may not be in communication with them. You might be feeling really confused by their behavior, their actions, something they've said to you. The Eight of Wands is your person's energy. They're viewing you as the Emperor, so they do see you as their divine counterpart. And they're viewing the connection as the Four of Cups in reverse. So most likely they're planning on making some sort of love offer, asking you out on a date. Yeah, there's definitely been some conflict, but there's going to be movement here. You could be dealing with a Pisces. All right. And we see the Two of Cups. So this is definitely your soulmate. All right. And the Two of Wands, possibly a twin flame connection. But I do see that no matter what has happened here, this person holds a torch for you. This person very attracted to you. And I feel like they're making a decision to come towards you. They're seeing you in your power here with the King of Wands. So they're seeing you as very, um, they're seeing you as just everything that's so beautiful about Leo energy. Strong, courageous, kind, helpful, large-hearted, successful. They're very attracted to you for sure. And we get the magician in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, it's this Mercury retrograde. Um, they might be, I feel they they might be reaching out before this ends, which is on the 14th of May. Um, but some of my Leos, you might be feeling like there's, I don't know if this person made you feel like you didn't have enough or you weren't enough, or maybe you're just second guessing uh, yourself or the connection because of whatever has happened. Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. But I can also see that you're not communicating. You're not taking action. You're just kind of doing you. All right. Which is good because it, you're seeing this person as, you know, bringing you drama and possibly ignoring you. But I don't know if there's been a lot of fighting, bickering, or arguing between the two of you and the six of cups. Wow. But double sixes here, powerful number sequence. Um, you're seeing this person though, you, you have very sweet feelings for this person and you do want to see them again. You want to reunite, you want to heal things despite, you know, the bickering and the arguing. And again, maybe if this person has pulled away, Leo, you know, that's really activated that cord. And I do feel you might be second guessing yourself or this connection because of that. Um, but I do feel that you still have some sweet nostalgic feelings here and you're looking to reunite. Now, there has definitely been some drama with the Knight of Swords, and the connection hasn't been able to move forward. And, yeah, a lot of my Leos, um, you do want to fight for this, though, despite it not unfolding the way that you anticipated or, you know, exactly when or how you would like it to. Okay, so for a lot of you, this feels like it's a bump in the road or just an obstacle. Your person is the Eight of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, they're traveling. For some of you, I feel they've just got a lot on their plate right now. And, ooh, yeah, this person, they're definitely guarded. Some of you, they could be in the military as well, um, or you are. But this person's coming in. They're coming in for an, another chance. They want to renew this connection. They're going to communicate. They're trying to manifest you. Leos, I feel like it won't be long now. That's what, kind of what I'm hearing. All right, they're seeing you as the Emperor and the Knight of Swords. So they see you as being very boundary oriented. You might have told this person off. You might have blocked them. You might have said, hey, you know, you, you might have called them out on some BS behavior or something they said or they did. So I definitely feel like they know you have a sharp tongue or you're not going to take a back seat or let anybody walk all over you. All right, I love that. And with the Four of Cups in reverse, this person is planning on making you some sort of offer. 
Um, they want to reunite. And we get the Page of Pentacles. There's that offer. They're looking at all the details. They're probably going over old text messages, communications. This person's really planning something special here for you, Leo. That's what I'm seeing. They're restless. That's what I'm getting. I kind of feel like you're both restless to see each other, to renew this connection. Yeah, and I feel that there's definitely grief. There's sadness. And I feel it's on both parts. So again, it feels like it's been like a little bump in the road, both people missing each other. Um, it's time to like shift your focus from, from you know, the negative things that may have happened or been said and, and focus on healing here because I feel like both of you really want it. Again, with that said, that does not mean that you sweep things under the rug and don't deal with what needs to be dealt with. But, you know, I feel like it's time for, it's, you know, it's time for love, not war. That's what I'm seeing. Or it's time for healing, not war. Now, Pisces energy coming through. So you might be seeing them differently. They're seeing you differently. There's definitely going to be movement after a period of stasis. Yeah. And the eight of cups energy, though, is, is, is good because it's about leaving behind, you know, what has been broken or the drama and moving towards ten of cups. Okay, so a lot of my Leos, if you want this new beginning with this person, it's coming. Okay, it's coming and, and you very well may end up in a higher level of commitment or healing this connection with them. Um, let's see. And we get the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups in reverse. But for some of my Leos, you're not going to be so sure about whether or not you're going to invest in this person. It's possible that you have other options. And with the Star card showing up in reverse, there's going to be a Tower moment here. Um, I feel this person's going to shock you with um, the communication. Um, they're going to shock you with wanting to have this passionate revival or reunion or new beginning. So I would get ready. And for some of my Leos, you know, you may have thought like, well, I'm never going to talk to this person again, or they don't want to talk to me. Um, and so you might have other options around you. So again, it's going to be a, a pretty big decision. And I do think this person's communication and their true feelings are going to really take you by surprise. So there's a wish being granted here. There's happy days ahead, Leo. And we get Venmo activity. So money is going to be doing really well. If some of you, this person's buying like a ticket to come and see you if they're at a distance or they're planning some sort of big surprise. Yeah, I think they're going to go big, Leo. I'm, uh, they're showing me like flowers and balloons here, but again, that could just be like showing me that, you know, this person's going to really pull out all of the stops to try to win you over, to win you back. Um, yeah, so it's going to really be up to you um, what you want to do here. All right. Some of you, money's going to, money's going to get real good for you. Just on a side note. But I can see you're you're going to be a little bit hesitant here about making a commitment. And that's okay, Leo. Take your time. You know, make them make them work for it. Okay. Let make them show you that they're for real, that they're serious. All right. So yeah, this person in their energy, they want commitment. They want union. They recognize it's a strong soul connection. And they're ready to move the relationship to the next phase. So some of my Leos, if that's what you want, it's certainly coming in. All right, and your energy. All right, so outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. So I do feel like you're definitely in your head about this person and what's happened. You two do mirror each other, and I feel like you've been doing a lot of introspection. So some of my Leos, you're going to be more on the fence than than you would have, than, even than I think you would like to be. All right, but this person, they're nostalgic. They're missing you. They want to make new memories. They're looking at your photos. And I feel like they're coming in. Um, they're coming in. They're coming in hot. That's what I'm hearing. Um, they're coming in to, you know, win you over. And for some of you, maybe it hasn't been like a full-on separation. They might just be, you know, coming in after a fight or argument with some flowers or something like that or just a grand gesture or a dinner or something. Um, and for, for others of you... Yeah, I mean, it is. I just see this person giving you some sort of, buying you some sort of gifts uh, or coming to see you, planning a trip or a drive or something. So they're telling you, I want to feel that way again. I want to be more than friends. Okay, so maybe you friends on them or they you. And I left you before you could leave me. So this person may have been worried that you were out of their league. And I have trouble with intimacy. All right, so they're going to come in with some big confessions, Leo. 
All right, let's see what else you need to know about this person, about this connection. All right, so unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So again, I do feel there were some bumps in the road. Um, lean on your inner circle during this time and find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Yeah, I feel that that's exactly what they're doing. Um, and you've learned the spiritual lesson, Leo. That's what Spirit's saying. So that may be why you two are coming back together. But if you don't feel like you want to repeat this, a lot of my Leos, you you may be moving forward. Like I said, it feels like you have choices around you. Um, so choose wisely. But this person absolutely wants to give it another go. All right. Wants to make it up to you. Wants to heal. And they want stability and commitment here with you. So... All right, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.